Hello, Pinheads. Welcome to This Week in Pinball's February, March 2021 recap of everything happening in the pinball world. It's time for the 2020 Twippies. The 2020 Twippies streamed live with guest hosts Jack Danger and Emoto Harney. Thank you again to all that helped and everyone that watched. Not to mention the hundred or so people in the industry that came together to be presenters and make acceptance speeches for the awards. And a huge thank you to the content creators for everything you add to the hobby. It has been a tough year for Location Pinball. That's why all donations received during the show were given to helping Location Pinball. We look forward to having the show live again next year at the Texas Pinball Festival. You can watch the entire show or check out the results on twippies.com. Marvel and Stern Pinball teamed up to present the next Stern Heads Up Pinball Invitational. The tournament was featured on the front page of Twitch on Marvel's channel and had a concurrent viewership of 11,000 people watching. The winner received a brand new pinball machine from Stern Pinball and the final showdown featured two minutes on the machine to score as many points as possible. The final match was very close. You can check out the full tournament on their YouTube channel. Spooky Pinball has announced that their podcast will be discontinued. Spooky was not the first pinball podcast, but when they started, there were no other active pinball podcasts. And now, they're a pinball manufacturer. A huge thank you to Spooky Pinball for all of the content on the podcast. We look forward to more video content from you in the future. The Pinball Brothers released some exciting teasers of Alien Pinball gameplay, showing us some different modes like self-destruct and ambush multiball. They're still working on some glitches. Also, Christian Line of the Super Awesome Pinball Show visited Cointaker to check out the new 2021 version of Alien Pinball in an exclusive mini gameplay video. Welcome to the Upside Down. Stern Pinball has revealed the Stranger Things Topper. An infinity mirror combined with custom lighting effects makes this topper filled with creatures jump out at you. You can get the topper at sternpinball.com. This Week in Pinball was joined by the maker of the pinball machine prop that appears in the new Nicolas Cage movie, Willy's Wonderland. The machine was built by Spencer Merle, who has worked in the animatronics industry as a puppet and specialty prop builder for the past 15 years. He walked us through the process of making the pinball machine prop. First, Spencer set about finding a table that would feel retro and settled on a 1982 Devil's Dare. After a light sand, clear coat, and primer to give himself a fresh canvas, he created new illustrations with a birthday balloon theme. In the end, Spencer got to meet Nicolas Cage on set and talked with him about owning pinball machines. If you're interested in seeing more from this project, check out thisweekinpinball.com. Deep Root Pinball posted an update to Retro Atomic Zombie Adventureland customers about delays in manufacturing. Certifications and receiving of all parts is critical to the start of shipments and will begin as quickly as possible to provide a quality, well qa pinball machine. For more information, check out deeprootpinball.com. Abe Flips has uploaded some amazing new YouTube videos showing specific flipper skills. From general rules of Amy to micro flips, setting up back flips, and mastering the flip pass, check out Abe Flips on YouTube for more. In some sad news, the Super Awesome Pinball Show announced that they would be discontinuing their podcast. They have been one of the best podcasts in pinball over the last couple of years and will be missed greatly. A huge thank you to Christopher Franchi and Christian Line, and we hope to see you guys again soon. The Pinball Museum in Las Vegas is moving into their new location thanks to the wonderful support of everyone who donated to their fundraiser and helped the museum reach its goal. Their new location homes 275 machines, currently in various stages of disassembly. They are working on bolting the legs on and getting the machines plugged in and ready. They are waiting on a certificate of occupancy and not sure yet when they will open, but they will give us another update soon. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, our monthly giveaway winners. Congrats to all the previous month's winners. 
make sure to go to patreon.com slash TWIP and become a member. By giving This Week in Pinball a small monthly donation, you will automatically be entered in our upcoming monthly giveaways and also get all the awesome TWIP perks. You can also email giveaways at thisweekinpinball.com with your name, address, and email to be entered for this month only. This Week in Pinball Swag Pack goes to Barry. A Pinball Life Pin Gulp goes to Jason. A Pin Quest Hat goes to Thomas. A Hooked on Pinball Gift Card goes to Carrie. A Silver Ball Swag Gift Card goes to Steve. A Titan Universal Silicone Ring Kit goes to Daniel. The Comet Pinball Gift Card goes to Ryan. The Pin Sound Gift Card goes to David. And finally, the grand prize, Pin Stadium Neo. Drum roll, please. Mike, congratulations. And a huge thank you to our generous sponsors that help make this hobby great. Patreon members make TWIP possible. Special thanks to our newest subscribing Patreon supporters. Ian, Chris, Colin, Mario, and Thomas. Between forums, podcasts, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch, it's hard to keep up with everything happening in the world of pinball. This Week in Pinball is your one-stop shop for pinball news and happenings. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell for our YouTube channel. Catch you on the flip side, pinballers.